our patient is in supine position, we have already cleaned the joint in order to access the lesion and we have already applied the distraction through Hinterman retractor. Now you can have a better view of the osteochondral lesion. We see the chondral lesion and we see the chondral bone exposed. It is mandatory to verify the stability of the lesion and to obtain shoulder around the lesion that are really stable and fixed. So now we are checking and we are looking for this stability. As you can see we are not happy for the posterior stability and so again we come back with a curette in order to achieve the perfect stability of the shoulders. So we need micro perforation, we need bone marrow stimulation, that's why in this surgical time we are performing our micro perforation all around the lesion. Micro perforation is our last surgical time with water. From this moment we need a dry joint. That's why we use an appropriate section and we use sponge to clean the joint from water. Once we have as a result a stable lesion in a dry joint, we are ready to study the shape of the lesion. Usually we use an aluminum template to get the right dimension and once we have it, we are ready to implant the final membrane as we can see in this movie. So here we are implanting the final amic chondroguide membrane in the joint. As you can see by this imaging, we use a shoulder cannula in order to introduce both the aluminum template and the final membrane. Once the membrane is well seated and the anatomy is restored, we fix it with a fibrin glue on the top. We prefer for a technical reason and for a biological reason to use the fiber glue only on the top of the lesion and not underneath in order to let to our bone marrow stimulation to arrive to our membrane.